What's going on, you guys? This be your boy, Scatter by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. Now, as you guys already know, last night was my live review of SWV and Escape the Queens of R&B, and you know what tomorrow is, Tuesday night, where we do roast review of SWV and Escape the Queens of R&B with me and T, and we will be talking about the show, roasting and reviewing this um, week's episode, so make sure you guys tune in. It will be on my platform, and the link is already out there, and it's available. So make sure you guys go over there and click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video, whenever the video comes out. OK, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the next thing. So um, we're still talking about Candy and Tiny speak on it. And now they're talking about the situation with Rocky and more things that we probably did not know about. So let's listen in on what Candy and Tiny had to say. And then we'll be back. Let's get into it. No. Another storm. So we got to touch on this before I'm going to let you go. They see us come back together for this meeting at the studio. It's a town hall meeting. <laughs> so y'all know I'm here for a receipt, honey. So I had told, Tamika had kind of like told me a little bit of her conversation with this promoter beforehand. And she told me that he had sent her all this stuff. So I was like, make sure you print it out. You got to show these receipts now. You can't yeah. just be hitting people with fake news. So she printed, okay, so the promoter sent copies of text screenshots of text messages between him and Rocky. And he also sent a copy of a wire transfer receipt from the bank. It was an actual wire transfer receipt with bank numbers on it. It was multiple payments. So it was one particular one that said like $5,000 or something. And it said in the note section, it said, for escape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. for escape going to Rocky's company or whatever. So anyway, um Is and, that and you can't fake a uh, wire trance. Is that Rockland uh, Records? Rockland, I believe. Uh, Rockland R. Records Kelly's. is R. Kelly's company. You company. can look it up, research it. So. He tells a lot of lies, child. So please, y'all gotta redo your research with the, the news, the fake news that be going on. But anyway, we're not getting on that. <laughs> So this is the stuff that Tamika had. She had the copies of the text message. She had the copy of the wire transfer mm -hmm. receipt. And I guess, was that it? Yeah, I mean, that was enough. That was I mean, enough. Shit. Um, the crazy thing is for me, I mean, here's another moment where she just, and I didn't know nothing about these receipts. So mind you, when y'all start talking about these receipts, y'all hit me when y'all hit her. And, um, and I'm just like, damn, and she, but you know, she, here's again, here again, she's not taking any, like, she's not gonna, like, oh yeah, she's like, what is this? Like, I mean, and, I mean, but what is it? Like, we're, they're text messages. Like, you can read it just like yeah, we read like, it right now. Yeah, your man's number right here. I know your man's number. This is his number. <laughs> she's like, anybody can do that. Like, anybody can do that. But the biggest thing is in the text message, they're saying each other's name. They're saying Sam. Rocky, you know, they're saying each other's names. You know, so exactly. Like, we know exactly what he was talking about. But the thing that I knew for a fact that it was real was, okay, so basically what happened was, you guys know that for a while, Escape 3, which was Tiny, Tamika, and Tasha, they were doing shows without me. And, you know, I was filming and stuff. They were still doing shows. There was no black, bad blood about it. Y'all was doing y'all thing. We didn't mm -hmm. have no negativity. Right. But they were still making money as Escape 3. Doing right. It concerts and i wasn't on them so apparently this particular promoter wanted all four members for mm -hmm. these particular shows right and um at the time i remember um nick had hit me and he was like oh you know they want you on the show la, 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 la. you know he was like we could try to figure it out you know i was still i was wrapping up filming on something else or whatever whatever so anyway whatever it was that i had been doing he refers, to, Rocky refers to that in his text. Yeah. He was like, yeah, you know, her, uh, some, what did he say, nickname, or he said her yeah, agent. agent. Her agent is, uh, said she's about to wrap up this project, but she'll be good for the show. And so my thing is, how could the promoter have known that to make it up in the right. text? Yeah. He, she was trying to make it seem like the promoter just faked some text. And it was like, no way that man could have known what I was doing. She, he said that. And also in the text, Rocky says, yeah, I talked to my wife. They show that. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I talked to my wife and she's, she's excited 
you know, about you giving me the first part or whatever the money or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, but she's going to make sure that she gets all of talk them and talk to the girls and make sure they all, what you say? How did he word it? Everybody was going to listen to her. Yeah, to get us on board to do these shows. Mm -hmm. And so basically the problem with this situation, guys, is for years we had been hearing from other promoters that Rocky was doing side deals with promoters like, you know, like say if it's a promoter want to do a party at a club, he was like, yeah, 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 you know, and get, getting people to give him money on the side, unbeknownst to us, mm -hmm. to get us to show up, right? That's one thing. Mm -hmm. For another thing, as a group, we're all supposed to be splitting equal. Mm -hmm. Now, people call all of us with shows, but we're supposed to just say, okay, take the number and, and throw them to whoever's management or whatever, whatever, and let those people negotiate it, not try to get an extra fee on top for connecting the show right so that goes back to what you say at the end any money that's out there it, it needs to be put on the table and it, it, yeah because we need to know about it you know what i'm saying it don't need to be no money going back and forth that we don't know about on our name you yes know what I'm saying? and okay so that's the main thing so anyway the promoter which is the promoter that she claims that she has a problem with now this is the same promoter. Yeah. The same promoter that she said she don't want to do shows for. So anyway, the problem that ended up happening, me and Tanya ended up getting COVID, COVID that year. Mm -hmm. And we ended up, after the guy had paid him money to get us on the show, we ended up not being able to do the show. Right. So I guess that blocked Rocky from getting the rest of the money. Mm -hmm. And they fell out. Hence, now it caused all these issues with us and the promoter all of a sudden we didn't know why we was having issues so we didn't that's, know. that's what <laughs> happened that's what happened after the lady of soul with people being threatened no that actually had happened before the lady of soul mm -hmm. that's why she was saying she didn't want to do didn't those do shows, shows with that promoter but it's the same promoter it's the same yeah, promoter. that she had outed on her her instagram the one she's been talking about it's yeah, the same promoter. That, you know yeah, he threatened her husband. We decided to keep doing shows with them. Right, but they already didn't want to do the shows before that argument happened. And uh, and honestly, the threat came after he threatened him. It was it was like, yeah, I mean, it, it's on the text, so I don't have to you know speak on it. Right, but it's on it, you you it it's a text of it, you know. But um, here's the thing, like it it, it was it was crazy to me and to me good because. Tasha, you know, being that her and Candy never really got along, and at the at the time, it took us a minute when we didn't have Candy. It took us a minute for us to get people to accept us as three people, as Escape Three. And at the time, we were making more money than we've ever made before. You know what I'm saying? Right. Even, now you don't have four people to split. You just split right. Three. And we were making, and, and I and our budget was up. We were making mm -hmm. like make more money you know what i'm saying so in the process when she starts saying bring candy back meant to me we're like for what what are we doing that for you know what i'm saying we love candy and everything but she don't want to do it and we make good money like what you talking about you know she was just like yeah but you know it's be great to bring four paper back and, and you know to have an original we're like all right okay because you know that's true you know what i'm saying but it didn't make no sense to us but now when we read text messages it all comes together you know what i'm saying because they was getting some extra money on the side they asked her to bring us back for back and you know we just is kind of like what you want to do that like <laughs> you want to go get us right like, which is so crazy because if we had, had it they didn't show you in that argument um, in a conversation that she and i had prior the one that she told y'all that she tried to be um tell how she was there for me as a friend mm -hmm. really she tried to throw at me then. I'm the one who wanted you to come back. No, after seeing these text messages, I realized you only wanted me to come back because you because you was getting kickbacks for your husband. Yeah, so you so for you guys for clarity, um, the text messages were legit. They were from the promoter. No, we didn't make them up. And I don't see how the promoter could have faked those text messages. It was clear conversations between the two of them. Too many of the things that were said in the text were things that actually had happened yeah. yeah so nobody that wasn't a part of that couldn't have faked it and i don't think that he had rocky locked in i believe you could see the number and we all know the number you know what i'm saying so 
she was saying anybody could have put this number and made it seem like it was you know but it's like why is anybody doing that like yeah. why can't you just go with this is what happened and i mean you know it's not like we haven't had this conversation before so for you to make it seem like oh this is just can't be it's like you know yeah, it was just kind of hurtful to me because not only like we telling you we showing you what the conversation between your husband and his promoter but then also to know that you were a part of it like tasha you clearly your husband is saying here that he had been talking to you about this man giving him extra money on the side so it was like you were a part of this and now you're trying to play us like we stupid right now did you guys ever think like how long has this been going on no, we definitely knew it had been going on because we had heard from other promoters before that he had been trying, like, getting guys to give him extra money to get us to show up for stuff. Yeah. But this was the first time we actually had real proof in hand with a wire transfer receipt. That was the first time we actually had real proof to say, like, this is actually happening. We had heard it before. Yeah, yeah, we've heard it before. You know, but, um, you know, we dealt with, I've dealt with Rocky many times after you know hearing that and stuff you know what i'm saying it's partly my fault you know what i'm saying because i kind of just got along with rocky too because you know he do kind of got the gift of gab and he kind of you know come in and talk a little you know try to you know what i'm saying just be talking shit. and so me you know it's that cancer in me just be like oh, okay and i forget that the nigga did yesterday you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, hey, yo, shit, I uh, ain't need talking to this nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be. So, yeah, so we're all here. We're all in collective. And Candy had came in like, I'm not doing anything if this goes on. Like, if you're, you know, if this person is involved, I don't want any parts of it. So it wasn't like, you know, they didn't know. And I think that was the reason why it was so like, okay, let's not tell nobody and let's kind of, you know, keep it on you know what i'm saying because they knew that if it was anything to be like oh yeah well he's gonna be getting money because of this and that you know what i'm saying she just didn't want to be uh in associated with that kind of business well on top of that the way i look at it is if there's ever a thing where tasha can make decisions based on what show she wants to do or what promoter she wants to work with based off of who's giving her man an extra check mm -hmm. on the side then we're allowing her to control the situation yeah that's true um <laughs> That's true. I mean, so like, what's your husband's right. uh, view to me? That, is anybody else's husband's involved in any decisions? No, no, our husbands are not involved in our decision making. Of course, they're gonna tell us their opinion, but our husbands don't make no decisions yeah. for the group. So no. with that being said, and they all try to pitch in to help here and there, but nobody's getting anything for it. No you know kickbacks. You know, they might turn us on to this or say, "Hey, man, he's got these people," but nobody gets anything for it. They just pet, turn it over to wherever our people is and, and let it go. Um, and so that's what we wanted from everybody's man. We just want it to be to where our men's kind of stay out the, you know, in the background and let us kind of handle it as us four women. Um, but we can never do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why also when you think about, you know, uh, you know, I guess reuniting, um, it just seems like it would never be a, a it would never, yeah be able to happen because there will never be a time that I feel like she's not going to let, you know, I mean, that's who her manager, that's who runs all her stuff. And he basically, you know, everything's goes through him. So I, I just don't think it'll be able, we'll be able to work together because we know that, you know, at the end of the day, like he's still going to be in control over that side. Right. We never know where that's going to go. So, you know, um, it's sad. It's a sad thing because, you know, we are, you know, we are still sisters and uh, we have a talented, we have a, a amazing, it's just amazing, you know, we have amazing sound as Together. four people. Yeah. You know, but we have to, you know, we have to keep going, we have to keep moving because we love what we do. And, you know, our fans still love us and they're still supporting us. So we're going to still be out there giving y'all what y'all want. It's going to yeah. be three of us. It's still three of us and we out there, you know, and, you know. We got a lot of shows. My new podcast is going to be. Okay, so that was all they really had to say in regards to Rocky and the kickbacks. Um, I'm going to say this and then we're going to move on to the very last video. All I got to say is this. Rocky is 
the main reason why this group would never prosper, how they would never be successful as they need to be because he's always in the way. And Latasha is always going to allow him to be in the way. She doesn't see anything wrong with his business practices as long as it benefits her. Um, she be knowing all about his shady dealings and she has nothing to say about it and she allows him to do just what he wants to do. So how do you expect for your cat, for your um, group mates to be comfortable with the things that your husband does? They will never be comfortable with it because he does fight out BS. So at the end of the day, um, I just feel like Latasha just needs to get her husband in check, but she would never do that because he got her in check. So when Tiny ended it by saying that they don't think that they could ever work with Latasha again, that's very sad for the people that want to see all four members of Escape, you know, doing their thing, being together, all of that. It's sad because we that's what we know them to be. We know them to be, you know, this three person group and now they cannot be that because they don't trust their own group member because she's going to be down with whatever her husband is down with and whatever he down with is not a good damn thing so now it's like well we don't want to work with her because we can't trust her and nobody wants to work with anybody that they feel is untrustworthy. Nobody wants to work with somebody that feels like um, they're gonna they're they're gonna find the ways and loopholes to get what they want, you know, off the group's back. Nobody wants to work with anybody like that. But it just looks as though that's what this situation is going to be. Like Rocky don't give a damn about nobody in that group but Latasha. And he's only gonna work his magic for Latasha. It's not about the betterment of the group, it's not about what the group is what the group is capable of doing. It's only about his wife. So no one wants to work with Latasha based off of that. And can anybody be honest enough to say that they mad at them for that? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I can't be mad at nobody for feeling that way because, I mean, they already showed their card and their true colors. So yeah, I definitely understand where they're coming from because he's scamming and he keep on showing that he's a scammer. And there's nothing nobody can really say about that. And Latasha is obviously a scammer herself because she be down with the call. She don't never call him out and call him to the carpet. She lets him do just what he wants to do and get mad at everybody else who don't want to be down with that. So with that being said, you guys, this be your boy Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below in the description box. With that being said, you guys, if you are in the chat right now, please leave blue hearts in the chat for my girl, Danita Rashawn. Rest in peace, girl. You know, everything I do, you are in my, you are on my mind, and it's all about you. So make sure you guys are leaving blue hearts in the chat. With that being said, you guys, your boys are out here until my next video. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye. What's up, guys? It's your boy Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B. It's got a little bit of pop. It's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out all streaming platforms, like I said. Please check me out and you can also follow me at i am underscore tramel that's i am underscore t-r-a-m-e-l check me out hope to hear from you